In this video, I wanna show you how you can sign up and create your own Power BI account without having a work email address. We're gonna go through it step-by-step step together so you can follow along as well if you want. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So we all know that getting started with Power BI is easy and it's free. You can just download the Power BI desktop application and start creating your own reports. However, if you want to start using the collaboration features of Power BI, say sharing your reports around, you need to have your own Power Power BI account. And if you didn't already know this, Power BI won't let you create an account with a personal email address. So if I hit try free here and you see it asks for a work email address specifically. So let me try to put my personal email here. If I hit sign up, you see that it detects that it's a personal email address so we aren't able to um, create our own Power BI account in order to use the Power BI service features. So how do we get around this? So in order to get around this annoying barrier of entry, we need to create an Azure Active Directory in our Azure portal. So don't worry, it's pretty easy. So let me show you how to do that. But before I go ahead with the Azure demonstration, I wanna show you how the account looks like at the end. So I've already created one uh, Active Directory which ends with solutionsabroad.onmicrosoft.com which gets around the, uh, the issue of having a personal account. So let's go through how you can create your own user account through the Azure portal and then sign up to the Power BI service uh, from scratch. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to sign up for an Azure account. So it's free to get started. Uh, it will ask for payment details, but don't worry, it won't charge you for anything that you don't use. So if you're just creating for an active uh, directory, it shouldn't cost you anything at all. And what's great about this is that you can create an account using your personal email address. So just follow the instructions until the end and go to the Azure portal website to access your Azure account. So this this is the Azure portal that I was talking about before. So now that you've created your Azure account, the next thing that we need to do is create an Azure Active Directory. And you can do that really easily. So if you hit create a resource here, and let's type Azure Active Directory. It's not at the very first result, but it's right here, Azure Active Directory by Microsoft. So if you hit create, and uh, let's enter an organization name. So we will name this one, let's see, Solutions. We'll just name it Solutions Abroad 2. And then for our initial domain, we'll put Solutions Abroad 2 because we already have Solutions Abroad, uh, just Solutions Abroad in our uh, Active Directory. So if, you, if that's all good, we'll change it just to the UK, the country, and let's hit create. So it will take a minute or two, so I will cut that bit out and then I'll show you how it looks like after. So now we've created a new tenant for our Azure Active Directory. Let's click here to um, manage this new tenant that we've created. It brings us to this dashboard where we can manage this tenant that we created solutions abroad to. What we need to do from here, we'll need to create a user. So you can see it's already created one uh, by default. This is us, but we want to create a new user. So here, is where we'll create that um, user account that we'll use to sign up to Power BI uh, for the Power BI service. So we'll type Fernand. So here we have the name, so Solutions Abroad 2. So this is how the email will look like, Fernand at solutionsabroad2.onmicrosoft.com. We'll just put the name there and let's just put a password. And then let's hit create. So now you can use this account to sign up for the Power BI service. So now we're gonna go back to the Power BI landing page where you can sign up for a Power BI account and then we'll use that email address that we have created just now. So we hit try free and here we will put 
Chrononaut Solutions Abroad 2 dot on Microsoft.com. Okay, and it's uh, telling me that we have an account already. So let's have a look and see. Okay, so now it's asking us to just update our password. So let me just update it with something new. Here we go. So now you are pretty much done. So we just hit start here. And voila, now you have a Power BI account that you can use to log in and use the Power BI service capabilities. So this is how the Power BI service looks like when you first created it. So you won't probably have any workspaces or reports. Um, and you'll see that we have the um, accounts as the new email that we created here. So the Fernand at solutions abroad to dot microsoft.com and just to prove to you that it will work. So let's sign out to this one that we have created before and let's sign in with this new one that we have created, right? Solutions abroad to dot Let's just put our details in here. And there you have it. So now, hopefully, yes, you are logged in with your Power BI account in your Power BI desktop. So that means you're able to publish your reports now on the Power BI service and also use the collaboration features or maybe even import custom visuals from the marketplace. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to sign up and create a Power BI service account without having a work email address at all. Leave a like on this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below and thank you so much for watching guys see you again on the next one